Chief Minister Conrad Sangma in the presence of Health and Family Welfare Minister James Sangma today laid the foundation for the PA Sangma Medical Skill Hunar Hub at Dumindigri, West Garo Hills. The project is being funded under the Pradhan Mantri Jan Vikas Karyakram of the Ministry of Minority Affairs at a cost of Rs 151.96 crores. The Chief Minister stated that the Medical Skill Hunar Hub will be a first of its kind institution for imparting job-oriented courses and training in the field of healthcare for youth of Meghalaya and the Northeast region. He also expressed his gratitude to Prime Minister Narendra Modi and Union Minority Affairs Minister Mukhtar Abbas Nakvi for their unwavering support in helping realize the dream of former Lok Sabha Speaker and Chief Minister P.A. Sangma and for honoring him by naming the institution in his name. Education Minister Lakhman Rumbuy on Friday informed of the government's intention to renovate over 1,000 schools in the state within this year. He stated that a report is being sought from all the subdivisional school education officers on school buildings that are in a dilapidated condition. It is a plan of the government that all the government schools uh, should be should be get uh, the they should get the fund. Because some school they didn't need the new uh, new school building, they did only a minor repair. This is not all the the the, the in-depth report, the extensive report have been sought to prepare. Because our aim is that about 1,000 plus school uh, will be uh, renovated so that in this particular year. Chief Minister Konrad Sangma today inspected the ongoing construction work of the PA Sangma Integrated Sports Complex in Tura. Taking to social media, the Chief Minister assured of the government's commitment to ensure completion of the project. The sports complex is being constructed at a cost of Rs 125 crores and is partly funded by the Ministry of Minority Affairs, Government of India. On completion, the stadium will reportedly have a seating capacity of 10,000 with state-of-the-art facilities including gym, swimming pool, lounge and a cafeteria. Deputy Chief Minister Preston Tensong on Friday expressed doubt if the much-awaited Shlong Dauki Road project will be completed within the stipulated period of time. Tensong said that in Meghalaya, since the working season is hardly for six or seven months as monsoon continues for four to five months, and no laborers or workers can be at site due to the quantum of rainfall. It may be mentioned that the estimated time frame for the completion of the project is 2024. The Deputy Chief Minister, however, added that the state government is pursuing the project and he has asked the Secretary PWD and the Chief Engineer to follow it up and make sure the work is completed at the earliest possible. UDP's Shlong City Youth Wing held its general meeting today at Crinoline View Barrick, which was attended by UDP General Secretary Jemino Mauta, Working President Paul Lingda, Youth Wing President Kerman Shila, Secretary Balajit Kupar Sinram, Chief Youth Organizer Eugene Sinlingda, and other party leaders. Speaking to press persons after UDP's Shlong City District President Manbhalang Siemle said that the party is working to strengthen its base in the seven constituencies of Shlong City. Other issues taken up in the general meeting were on CUET, unemployment, and the upcoming elections, Siemle said.